What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're going to be talking about Scream 7 in this video here today. So it is official. It would appear that Nev Campbell is 100% going to be returning as Sidney Prescott in the upcoming 7th entry in the beloved iconic franchise that Wes Craven and Kevin Williamson gave us back in 96. She announced this over on Instagram this morning saying, Hi all, I'm so excited to announce this news. Sidney Prescott is coming back. It's always been such a blast and honor to get to play Sidney in the Scream movies my appreciation for these films and for what they have meant to me has never waned i'm very happy and proud to say i've been asked in the most respectful way to bring sydney back to the screen and i couldn't be more thrilled well actually i could which i've been while i've been so incredibly lucky to make these films with both the master of horror west craven and the wonderfully talented matt and tyler team i've dreamt for many years of how amazing it would be to make one of these movies with kevin williamson at the helm and now it's happening kevin williamson is going to direct scream 7 this was his baby and it's his brilliant mind that dreamt up this world kevin is not just an inspiration as an artist but has been a dear friend for many years to the amazing screen fans i hope you are as excited as i am see you on set at kevin williamson who she of course tagged in the post now see the context of this i'm not gonna lie it does have me excited but at the same time it's the it's the manner in which Oh God, it, it, it's it's a catch-22 for me. On one end, I'm very excited to see Kevin Williamson at the helm of a Scream movie. I am happy that Nev Campbell seems to be very happy, I guess, with what they're doing with Sidney Prescott, which makes me less worrisome as someone who really cares about the direction of the character, cares about the material that she has to work with. I still find Scream 4 to be her weakest outing, but I am just excited to see what's to come in regards to this. But then there's that second thing that's still weighing on me, and that's just the fact that this is still coming from Spyglass. And I'm more than likely not going to see this movie countless times the way I've done in the past with five and six because I do not like what has been happening with Spyglass and what has happened with the core four. But what's going to happen is I will, of course, experience my one freebie and then that'll be it. I'll give my review and then I will let you know if Scream 7 was good or not. And that'll be the end of that. I'll get my free copy of it sent to me as well in the mail when that time comes. But Kevin Williamson, again, at the helm of a Scream project, that's very exciting. Very exciting. I just want to entertain this really quick. I think this is very fitting as someone who has heard in the past from Kevin Williamson that he's content with just writing or being a producer. It would look as it would appear as though the circumstances of what happened with Landon led to Spyglass obviously approaching Kevin, giving him some opportunities that he couldn't pass up on or mentioning some things that he couldn't pass up on. And now he's in the helm or at the helm to direct this upcoming film, which is being written by Guy Busick. For those of you who saw my tweet a few days ago, I did put out that Guy Busick would be solely writing this film by himself. I wasn't trying to discredit the fact that the story wasn't still from James Vanderbilt and Guy Busick, but when it came down to the overall screenplay, Guy Busick was gonna be the one getting the credit. Or at least what I heard was it would be Guy and some other writer. But Guy Busick seems to be the one who is getting all the credit while the story is primarily coming from him and James Vanderbilt collaborating again. But that's why I put out that there would be no no Vanderbilt because apparently Vanderbilt wasn't going to be the sole writer credited. It would be Guy. Un unlike the reports were stating that James and Guy were writing it together. It looks like they came up with the story and then Guy has fleshed it out and he's going to be the sole one credited as the writer, which is fine which is fine. I do think Guy is the stronger writer out of the two. That's my own opinion there. As far as, again, circling back to Sidney Prescott, Nev's post, as someone who really does not want to see any more Sidney Prescott in the Scream franchise, Nev's post does make me a little bit more, like I said, less worrisome. She seems to have gone over this screenplay. There's something in it that appealed to her. And if it appealed to her, I'm open to seeing what it is. That's not done to then mean that obviously that whatever it is, I'm going to be on board with it. But there's yet to be an outing, even with four being her weakest, in my opinion. There's yet to be an outing that I've seen her participate in where I've just where I've thought that this is a poor use of Sidney Prescott. Unless we would have got her in six, because again, in six, it didn't seem like she really was going to do much. She just kind of showed up and then left, allegedly. But 
I doubt that Scream 7 will be a weak outing for Sidney Prescott. I hope not anyway, because I've yet to see Nev agree to appear in these movies and they've just used Sidney in a lackluster capacity. Granted, again, I think 4 is her weakest showcase as Sidney. But even then, that one still gave her purpose. It gave her meaning. It just wasn't as strong as what I saw with her avenging Dewey and finally getting that closure and that bond solidified with Gail in Scream 5. Granted, she had less screen time, but there was a lot more significance to her role in 5 and Ghostface has a lot more she had a lot more significance to Ghostface's motive in 5, I would argue, too, because Jill's plan didn't really require Sydney. It was just an added bonus. She just wanted to be Sydney, and you don't need Sydney there to be her. You just got an added bonus because you get to kill your cousin in the mix of also trying to replace her. But what do you guys think about this? Yes, Nev Campbell, Sydney Prescott, 100% is back. We are not going to be going into all of the negatives surrounding Melissa in this video. I'm just still saying that... That's why I'm a little bit on the fence about it. On one hand, I'm excited, but on the other hand, it's still Spyglass. I wish they would sell the rights. Realistically, I know they're not going to. I've addressed that countless times in my video. I can still prefer they sell the rights and then also still recognize that if I want to keep my feet on the ground and be realistic and not get my underwear in a, in a mix or in a tangle, they're not going to because they have a profitable IP on their hands with Scream and all they have to do is produce these films for relatively cheap, which I'm sure they will. But I hope that Nev Campbell and Kevin Williamson have fun collaborating together. She again seems very excited about what's to come for Sydney Prescott. So I'm open to at least giving it a chance and seeing what this new story will entail for one of my favorite characters, one of my comfort characters, because I only have three, Sydney Prescott, Harry Potter, Buffy Summers. Those are my three comfort characters. So for everyone who thinks I hate Sydney Prescott, you're just absolutely wrong. You misunderstand. And for those of you who reach out to me countless times and you are well aware that I don't hate Sydney, you're just seeing that I'm trying to give a nuanced approach to this. And I still stand by that I think her story is done. But if they have come up with a very crucial new chapter, hopefully it just sends her off in the best way possible and we can write Sydney off completely, send her off into the sunset, let her live her happy life, and that'll be the end of it. Let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below. Are you looking forward to seeing Nev Campbell back at Sydney Prescott? Why or why not? What are your thoughts on this bombshell news that Kevin Williamson will be directing Scream 7? Are you excited for it? When do you think that Scream 7 will actually start filming? Because again, it's supposed to release in 2025. And if they can start filming this summer, they should be on track for that. Let me know all that down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. You can miss video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.